What's up guys, this is Jay from COI. So if you've been watching mainstream media in the past few days, you've noticed that there are two major topics brought up. One is Mike Bloomberg and his all sorts of stuff. By the way, just a quick update. When I said he was accused of um, assaulting women 41 times, I was wrong. It was actually 61 times. Um, but the other thing they've been talking about is the ethnic vote. Buttigieg, Klobuchar, and Biden all need a wider, stronger base from people of color. And that's all we've heard about. Um, and it makes me kind of question a couple things. Number one, why aren't these pundits, instead of trying to figure out how someone like Amy Klobuchar can get more black people or, or Latino people to vote for her, why don't they ask, why hasn't she been fighting for their right to vote? I think that that's really important when we're talking about the ethnic vote. Um, I know it resonates with me quite well that there is one person who's running for president right now who has fought for my right to vote as a Latino. But a majority, 90% of these people, have either actively worked against people of color from voting or have just completely ignored that it's a problem but it is a major problem places in like new hampshire which we just got through there's weird regulations on, on voting and one of them like there again in new hampshire is you have to have your car registered to be a voter i mean when you think about that who does that target you know, in Georgia, Stacey Abrams has been fighting the the vote or the legislation that suppresses the black vote and the Latino vote. Here in Kansas, most of the 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 voting polls that were in predominantly Latino communities were moved about 15 to 20 miles outside of town. And a lot of Latino Amer Americans here in Kansas, anyway, don't have vehicles. Um, but maybe if they wanted the support from people of color, they should support people of color. Instead, people like uh, Budin or Budin, <laughs> Biden or Buttigieg or Klobuchar will come into a place like Baltimore and they'll say, hey, I know that you've had an issue with gang violence and systemic racism through our judicial system, and I know all these things, and I'm going to come in and fix it. Yes, you've had 50 years of trying to sort these problems out, and I've been here five minutes, but I'll figure it out. Why? Why, why does Biden or Buttigieg or Klobuchar think that they can just solve all these problems? I don't know. Maybe it's because they're rich. They're white. They have power. They have powerful friends. I don't know. It comes off that way, though, doesn't it? It comes off like they're playing Superman. You know, like they know better than we do. You know, we only live in our communities. We've only grown up in our communities. And... They've been here five seconds and only really know what the pundits on Fox News and CNN tell them. But they can fix it. Because they're from places like South Bend, where it's perfectly white there. Yeah, that's what they want to say. That's how they want to act. Maybe it's not exactly how they do. But you know as well as I do, that when you have a situation like... Um, when... You're employed somewhere, and your boss gets fired, and a new boss comes in who has no idea how to do your job. And he comes in, and he tells everyone, hey, you guys aren't doing this right, and I'll tell you why. You immediately think this guy is an arrogant prick and doesn't know what he's talking about. And usually you're right. Usually they want to fix things on the outside to make it look good for them. 
And that's exactly what Buttigieg, Biden, and Klobuchar are planning to do. It's why white politicians, namely Democrat politicians, don't really hold support. There's not a lifelong white politician that people of color rally around. And it's fair if you want to say, well, there's no Republican either. And that's true. And maybe that's the problem. (laughs) Because they all end up fucking the people of color over. Now, there is one candidate running right now who does have the largest, strongest, most diverse group of supporters. And I am talking about Bernard Sanders. Now, Bernie Sanders... As a Latino, I support him, even though, looking into the issues, one of my biggest things coming into 2020 was children being locked up in cages. Not only because I am Latino, but also because it's unconstitutional. That's right, we we care about the Constitution. But he didn't really talk about that that much. He, he does say we need immigration reform. And he actually takes um, an immigration stance much like Ronald Reagan, believe it or not. Which, if you ask anyone right now in the political world, he's so far to the left. Crazy, right? Um, but no, he doesn't talk about that. He doesn't talk about the heroin use in Baltimore, the gun violence in St. Louis. He doesn't talk about these problems specifically. He won't do an entire speech about that. And why? Because he does and thinks like the liberals tell you they think. He doesn't really treat any of us different. White, black, brown, yellow, green, pink. None of us. (laughs) Because he realizes that pandering to a group of people is stupid. And it's not going to fix any problems. What he does is he comes in with wide sweeping legislation that will help us and give us relief that we need. Things like Medicare for all. Things like debt forgiveness for college. Free education. Now, do you really believe that if every single person in places like St. Louis or wherever, Flagstaff, Arizona... I don't know their crime rate, but I'm just throwing out a random city. But but do you know if they knew that they could go to college for free and they had a future, do you think that they would be more likely to get involved in illegal activities? Do you think they would get, you know, let's, let's go somewhere else instead of talking about things like that. Let's talk about meth addiction and pill addiction. Do you think kids that are 17, 16... Growing up in Little Rock, Arkansas, you think that they would decide to to smoke meth if they felt like they had a future? Yeah, some of them would, sure. But there's going to be a certain percentage that don't. And this is how Bernie Sanders gets the voters from uh, different, all different aspects of life. It's because he doesn't pander to us. He doesn't say... Uh, you know, this time of year, he doesn't start talking about how much he loves hot sauce or a Mexican bowl, which, by the way, Latino I have no idea what a goddamn Mexican bowl is. Never heard of it. <laughs> I just feel it's funny that the other candidates running right now don't realize that by pandering to certain groups, they're being segregationists, the same people they talk against. They're pandering to certain people, and they know that they're being pandered to. It's very belittling. It's very demeaning. Of course they're not going to vote for you. (laughs) Now when you come in on your high horse, like a white knight, saying you're going to save the day, no. (laughs) You're not offering relief. Bernie Sanders is one of the few people who's actually offering relief to not one group, but all groups of people here in America. And that's why he has the strongest base. Anyway, I'm curious what your thoughts are. Am I right? Am I wrong? How do you think uh, Nevada's going to play out? That's coming up soon. Um, Bloomberg, do you have any thoughts on Bloomberg? Do you think Trump is still going to just turn around and win? Look, we've heard some... If you're on the left, 
Um, I would be very cautious. Um, Trump is bringing out more people than he has than than Bush did, and it's really for an incumbent president. Usually, turnout is low. Uh, Trump's breaking records. So, you know, how however you feel, how do we how do you think that the liberals can beat Trump? Are you going along with the ideology that everyone else is that saying that Trump wants to fight someone like Sanders because he thinks he can win? I disagree with that completely, by the way. But anyway, I'm curious your thoughts on all of this. Anyway, thanks a lot, guys. Have a good evening.